Yo, welcome back to a new video. This is Edwin and got my homie Drew recording in the back. Today's Christmas Day. It's the 25th. We're in the beautiful city of Texas right now. We're gonna find some nice scenery to shot. We're gonna see if we can find some canyons. Like you can see, some of there is gonna rain a little bit. Drew's recording, so you know we're gonna get the nice wide angle. Today we got a surprise for you. I'm finally introducing my homie Drew to the video. So Drew, please tell us a little something about yourself. Hey, how you doing, guys? I'm Drew. I guess he calls me Drew 5 so I like Mustangs. I'm a college student. I'm into fitness. Brought me into cars, and I'm about to get a Mustang because of him. And uh, follow my Instagram. Uh, let's jump in the car and see what we can do today. We got on the side, we got a Mustang 5.0. Oh, that's a f***ing EcoBoost. Oh, it's an EcoBoost, but you know, it's better than nothing, you know. trying to race. I mean, rev his engine real quick. Oh, we cannot do that because there's a dip and like, if you guys know, if you guys have a lip in your car, that's that. Look at the EcoBoost. He's chasing him. He's getting away now. Oh, he's here. She's going, come on, come on, come on. My bad for Oh, he's turning oh, left. Right, right, right. Oh, shoot, there's a dip. Easy right here. You know guys, for any of you car people, if you guys ever want to get a lip on your car, my homie Dro knows like how stressful it is everyone to have a lip. Because the problem with the lip is it goes ball tilting your car. If you don't slow down for like dips or like actually like anything, if you don't slow down the intersection, the whole bumper is going to come up. It's not pretty fun to have your bumper fall off, you know? Like I still the Texas has a nice scenery. Last video we were in Mexico, but you know, we're just like travelers, we're in best, so we have the ability to travel whatever we want. But we got a tunnel, a tunnel, oh, do, do the honor. Let's get some conversation about the car. You know how the tunes I have in the car and everything? Uh, well, we're doing custom tunes, so now the 335, as you guys, if you guys follow me on social media, you guys know about like, progress the car is making. I finally got the car to push more than 20 PSI and I have proof. PSI means uh, the boost pressure. There you go. That's so hard. That's, 20 for any car, PSI is hard. You know the memes, you know, like if you like when the tuner tells you you cannot push more than 20 PSI in some cars, the engine's gonna blow up, the, the rod's gonna shoot to you. The PSI is really good, it's a lot of boost. Uh, we always trying to push more, you know, on safe levels, but that makes it fun. Let's get some action right here. Look. Pull out some stunts. Pull out some stunts. Let's see some crazy. Let's see what you got for the viewers. Oh shit! Whoa! Listen to that. Yo, one thing I know this channel is like it's only about BMWs, but any car but one thing i actually like about this car is like the traction this car is like on just sport sport plus this activates a little bit of the traction if you want a beamer you know like the traction is really good like you can do whatever you want you know the car is not going anywhere but like you know there's people actually like slip on traction which is like kind of hard thing to do like look at this we're hitting it i curve straight up we, just, we hit a turn like really at 80 miles per hour right now and not not even an understeer so like, uh, this car is actually a good thing traction is Really good. For the viewers, comment down below. We get 100 likes, you know, we'll get everyone to do a burnout. Burn a drift. Yeah, yeah, if we do, <laughs> if, you, if we can get 100 likes in this video, Bert's still doing it, you know, because like, like I said in the other video, no one's going to help me buy tires. <laughs> <laughs> help us get those sponsors, you know, boost down the channel, boost the car. You know, this channel about to blow up. We're going to blow up, you know, one day you're going to see us like just racing like whoever, Lambos. What are you guys coming, what you guys did on Christmas? Uh, what you do, Evan? What, do you, uh, what I did on Christmas, I didn't do pretty much anything. I edited the whole day, the last video, the one before this one. Uh, but it was fun, you know, I finished the whole video. I went to sleep around like 4 a.m. I like editing. I like driving too, but you know, like I said in the last video, gas is five bucks, sponsored by Red Bull. Sponsored by Red Bull. Sponsored by Red Bull, there you go. Hey, hey. Sponsored drove by Bang too. But bang drove, drove sponsored by Bang, C4, whatever you want to call it. Steel supplements, all that stuff, you know, all that good stuff. Like I said in the last video, my homie Drew's pushing 300 on the bench. I wish I can do that, but I'm not that buff. Comment right. down below if you want to see F30 ready to get buff. Okay, so we're here, guys. Let's this is the spot that my homie told me. It's a canyon. I haven't seen this. I go to La Canada Fringe. That's like the woodlands, but you know, like, let's try something new. It looks promising, actually. It looks promising. You guys can see there's no one here, so that's a good sign. The speed limits is 80 over there, as you can see. Psych. Narrow road, so it actually, I do think this is a canyon. So, Saka, if you're watching, thanks for the info, bro. So, yeah, guys. And as you guys can see, we found a canyon. So we finally got some canyon footage for you guys. I'm scared. <laughs> My homie drove scared all this a stop sign. No cop, no stop. No cop, no <laughs> stop. Like I, I don't know the area. Got this an SRT wagon. The SRT G wagon. SRT G. One, two, three, go! Oh damn, it's actually fun. Look. All right, guys. So it's getting narrow here. So let's hit some canyons right now. All right. So as you guys can see, we just found the canyons right here. It's a good spot. Good spot. So we're gonna get some shots. We're gonna see how it looks. Look at that house. Actually, that's a pretty nice house over there. Yo, guys, a little update. Oh. Get shit in there, dude. 
<gasps> oh hell no, I'm not touching that. The car is right here guys, as you guys can see, we just, the canyon that we were just hitting was right down there. We were driving, I don't know where the canyon ended. Looks like the street just, we're gonna do a little exploration right now. Don't be asking where we're at. Hey, if you know this, if you see the skid marks and you know, you know who does them, hey, if you know, you know, come back out here at the same time, we'll be here waiting for you. Uh, you know, cops, be honest and stuff. How there's even cameras out here and stuff, so, you know, you just gotta be careful. And like I say guys, Joe's a cop now. So watch hey, out for hey, him, no, watch no, out, no, watch no, out. No, no. He's the one telling you. So, uh, like I said, it's uh, Christmas morning. We have nothing better to do, so we're just filming today. So I got a question a while back saying, do you bet on races? Master, that is honestly, man, that's actually a tough question because like you can bet a thousand dollars and lose a thousand dollars real quick too. Some things I actually learned, if you ever find a guy who has a sleeper car and you know what a sleeper is, a car that doesn't look fast, but it's actually beyond quick. If a guy with a car that looks actually slow tells you, hey, let's bet a thousand bucks, pink slip something, Say no, because there's if it's that confident about his car, he knows he's gonna destroy your ass. So yeah, like I was telling you, we were just like on the canyons right here. Uh, it's a little canyon, honestly. I didn't know the canyons were gonna end. We need to find a better canyon next time. Drop time. comments where you guys can find a canyon. Support the channel, Drew can live here one day. <laughs> one thing about living in the US is so it's so boring. People here are so boring. There's nothing to do here. I don't know how you guys Making our life here. Uh, where, where are you from, Edwin? Where, where I'm from, that's confidential because like, I don't want people yelling at me. <laughs> 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 I, I, real, real shit though. I, I went, I went from, I was not from the US. I'm not from the US. But he's born here. Born so here. don't yeah. drop any stupid comments because I am legal here. <laughs> uh, I may have an accent, but I, I, I have proof I'm from here. One thing is actually pretty cold. It's like, I want to say 15 degrees or like probably like 11. If you're from the US, that's 50 something. So yeah guys, a little update about the car. One thing I didn't say in the last video, some mods that I did, visual mods. Okay, the first mod that I ever did was the lip spoiler was, honestly, it was pretty complicated. Whoever said the lips, this thing was gonna get 50 minutes, it's a liar. You should not trust them. It takes me more than, probably, it took more than 10 hours. And the problem was because I had a lip before this and the tape was so stuck together. Heat guns, fishing net, dental floss. They didn't come out. But after fighting, I, I lost my fingertips with that one. I didn't have a print for, like, I want to say, like two weeks because this was stuck really hard. And as you guys can see, it looks really nice. Like, I don't regret getting it. One thing I probably like to do in the future, though, probably if I still have this car, like, years from now, I would like to change the whole trunk. Have you seen the, the M style trunk that they comb all the way forward? They don't have this little dent right here. But it looks really nice. I'm happy with it, though, it looks. Got my Spain plate right here. That's real, too. So I buy plates for two different places. I don't know if it was a second, but I'm actually happy I got this one. It's a little MP performance, like I said in the other video. I got this diffuser from a JHP Dynamics. Uh, really nice guy. Really nice small company, so I'll support him. If you guys haven't seen the lip, I'm going to show you guys the lip right now. So this is the lip that I got. Look at it. It's a P-style lip, also from JHP. Even. So you look at him. It actually looks really nice. Makes the car's front end looks really aggressive. Makes it looks really nice. Uh, like I said, mirror caps is coming after that. Roof is coming too. So guys, so this is a BMW channel. So we're going to talk to you guys some things about the car. So if you're looking to get a BMW, I'm going to give you an honest review about my car. Cars related to that one. So when I say related, I mean 3 Series. Never get a 320. If you get a 320, you better get a C300 Mercedes. Because if you want luxury, 320 BMW is not the way to go. I did not condemn. It's not a recommendation at all. Honestly, if you want a daily driver, don't get this also. 335. I know it's a nice car and everything. Pretty fast car. Pretty nice handling and everything. Like I always say. Horrible guy mileage whoever said in the paper guys uh you're gonna get 21 to 26 mpg combined it's a lie hey, look there's a guy doing a donut over there we got some friends over there i don't know him but he I every see, car guy's a friend unless you drive a, a audi he gave up he didn't pull out a single donut well you know his intention accounts so back to that conversation we we're having 335 awesome car weekend car though not a daily driver gas mileage is horrible whoever said 21 it's a liar like i said Honest, the best you're gonna get is 17. And this coming for someone who's getting 12 right now. And a month ago, it was getting eight. If you want a nice BMW, starter pack BMW, you want a daily drive it, just to get a 328i. You're gonna have a nice car. It's pretty fast, honestly. But it's a really nice car. It's an entry level BMW. You'd never get the 320. Don't do that to yourself. Don't get a 320. Uh, but the 335 is a really nice car. I'm not, I don't regret buying it. I'm pretty happy with it. We got some other people over there. We, look, we just got more people doing donuts. Look. I don't know if you guys can see it because I got my zoom lens is not that good. Yeah, it's funny because those guys are trying to drift and that's a front wheel drive car. I don't even have to look at the car. Don't do that to yourself, man, because you're just, you're just hurting yourself and you're hurting the car, man, you know, because it's not a car built for that. Well, yeah. Uh, one thing I'm going to tell you guys if you ever have, doesn't matter if it's a Beamer, whatever car, performance car you want to get. Japanese, American car. One thing I think, I'm not an expert, 
But I think the best thing you can do the starter mode, it's not that expensive. I depending what brands you go, but if you want a nice little performance mod, which is gonna make your sound sound better, I think it's an air intake, you know. I'm gonna show you my air intake right now. Welcome to my engine. Sorry for the leaves, you know, it's fall. But yeah, this is the uh, intake that I think, I think this was the first mod that I did. This MST Performance intake it was pretty nice. Intake was like $450, so it gives you nice gains. You actually funny thing in the Beamer, you will not get a check engine light with this one. I don't know about engine or other ones, but this one's really nice. So I'm gonna give it some reps so you guys can listen to how it actually sounds. <laughs> So yeah guys, like I was saying, intake first mod, we're not gonna go wrong with that one. I think after that, it will be a tune actually. Tune is actually depending where you get it. I got mine from Pro, uh, Pro Tuning Freaks, uh, boot mod actually, however you wanna say it. That was like $800 actually, actually no, correction, it's $695. Oh, but it's really nice tune, you know, you can get custom tunes with that one. I don't know about different tuning brands. I know Gintani does really good tunes. Expensive, but they're not, you get what you pay for, you know. That's one of the best tuning companies I've ever seen. That Ferrari. That's an amazing car. Intake will be a nice beginner mod. After that, I think you should do an exhaust. And if you don't want to go full and just do a resonator delete or do a muffler delete, uh, you know, keep it simple. Don't keep it too loud. Cause if you keep it too loud, you're gonna get have cops on you all the time. People, your neighbors are gonna hate you. Tires of all, I run a 255s on the back and 235s on the front. I run 315. I don't run 315s, that's dro. By the way, 315s will be this fat. So I don't know who told them that. So they're not slip-ons. They're not Toyo 88. They're Bridgestone. I like to wear Potenzas, but I'm actually want to change it to, to the Michelin Super Sports. Actually, this one's the except. This is a Continental tire, Continental uh, Contact Sport. So as you can see, it's Continental nice. Contact Sport 255s. Oh, they're 19s too. 255, 35, R19Y. Brakes, I got standard and brakes, simple. I do like Brembo, but the price, I don't like it. One thing actually people ask me all the time is, what is the green thing over there? Honestly, keep it simple with you guys, this is a B-brace. BMW f 30s come with a B-brace for support, but simple, just vinyl wrap it. And it looks really good, people do it. If you have a blue car, people go red. I didn't want to go like everyone, so I just did a kind of yellowish. I know it looks green, but I think it looks yellowish. It's simple, it's just a B-brace, and it's a really simple process. You can make it hard if you want to take the whole bumper off, but if you want to go simple, take the grills, wrap it out simple. It looks a nice car. Look, it gets a nice touch. The car makes it look really sporty, as you guys can see. So I gave you a little insights about the car, some opinions. Honestly, it's Christmas Day, like I said, so I don't. there's nothing else to do. Everything's closed. We're going to go anywhere. We found a canyon for you guys, but like turns out the canyon's closed. Dro and I, we're going to do a little exploration of what happened. Okay, guys, so like we just parked the car somewhere over there, and we're going to go see what's going on down here, what happened to the street, because it looks really weird. We just got to the end of the... I want to say canyon. It doesn't look like a canyon. It looks like a something happened here, like a volcano exploded or something. Draw a chalk, because honestly, bro, you don't have health insurance. Guys, jokes aside, but this actually looks like where the fire happens. Like if you guys can see over there, actually that's some like looks like the fires are happening. That's an actual like fire. Look at that. Look at the tree over there. Like I want to say this was actually together a long time ago, but because by the looks of it, if you actually see it, if you actually see this, it was actually together. So I'm not a geologist, but I'm supposed to say like long, long time ago. This probably was actually like they were together. Funny thing, I used to hate Joe. He was annoying as hell, but you know things change, and now he's one of my best. Well, he's my best friend. All right. <laughs> I go up, he goes up, he goes down, I go up. You know it is. <laughs> I'm joking. We're a team, you know. Pretty cold. Like I said, it's like I want to say, like, See, look, look, he's not even wearing a sweater. Yo, it's only like 12 degrees. So it's not that cold. Oh, Once man. again, it's 50 something. If you guys don't understand Celsius, it's a little Uzi dance. <laughs> what the? F I am 21 years old. I just turned 21 in October. I'm not from here. That's confidential where I'm from. Uh, you don't need to know. Nobody needs to know. So let's do a little QA and drop here. Fool, there's a fucking snake on the oh, no, no, no. Hey, what the <laughs> So yeah, guys, as so you guys can see right now, we're going to do a little Q&A, but like, we're going to sit down. There was a rattlesnake just there, and the rattlesnake started moving. Uh -uh, I'm not getting in today. How was your experience with the snake? I don't like snakes. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm tapped out. So honestly, guys, uh, I actually want this channel to grow. It's a fun thing to do, you know? I actually enjoy filming with my friend Joe, just our daily things, what we do, any adventures that we have. Cause you know, everyone starts from somewhere. 
you know, it's a fun pastime. You know, don't hate, just create. So I actually hold the channel from like some time from now, she blows up and we you know how like probably five years from now, a year from now, we can see this video and then we'll be like, oh shit, what happened? We're just, titles. like my homie just said, we're just two 21 year olds trying to make it. You know, and uh, it's honestly, just we, having fun with what we have. Two car guys and we can we do whatever we want. This is our passion. We like cars and probably in the future we'll be making skits about like car guys and stuff like that. But for mm. now, we're just we'll filming. Try to get, we'll try to get stuff from car meets and stuff. Yeah, we'll together. try to get stuff from car meets. Funny thing, I filmed a video about car meets, but it was in a different camera with different mic and let's just say it didn't go too well. From now on, we got a new setup. We got a better mic that uh, sound look, sounds really good. It looks really good too. From now on, we're just gonna try to film more things that we do. Just simple thing. Just like the video, share it, comment, whatever you want. Mm. Whatever you guys want us to do, just let us know. Comment this, you know, we'll do everything we can to you know to do what you guys ask for. Yeah, honestly, we'll, we'll do anything. We'll do anything unless it's really stupid. Yeah. You start from somewhere and it's fun to have someone to do it with. If you have a passion, and you really like something, go get it. Because like you only live once and I know that's really cringy. But if you're gonna sit all day say, Oh, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, but you never get up and do it, then don't even say it. Don't even bother. So now I think that's gonna be it for anything talking about us. So now, like we said over there, there's a canyon. Yeah, we just get some nice shots in the canyons and after that, we'll just see you in a little bit.